Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog ArtWillieHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade conditioner bar. I have shared a homemade conditioner here on the channel before, shampoo and also a shampoo bar. And ever since I shared the shampoo bar, I've had lots of requests for a conditioner bar and it took me a little while to get it out because I was kind of messing around with a few different ideas and I finally came up with one that I think you're going to love and so it's very simple to make. There's a few extra ingredients here that are optional that you can add in if you want. For instance, here I have shea butter, I just figure out which one was which, shea butter, cocoa butter, and mango butter. I have found that mixing the three is really good for the hair. So I'm going to do a combination of these three. If you don't have all three on hand and you wanna make this, you can make it with all of shea butter or all of cocoa butter or all of mango butter, but I highly recommend the combination of all three. I also have some beeswax, coconut oil, and then I have a carrier oil, some vitamin E oil, and also some essential oil. So there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's a very easy recipe to make. So to start off, I have here a bowl and a pot to make a double boiler. I'm just gonna turn this on. And I am going to add in equal parts of the all the butters, the shea, cocoa butter, and the mango butter also beeswax and the coconut oil. So I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup of each just because that's how much I'm gonna make right now. And But you could make a half a cup or one cup, whatever you do, it's all equal parts. All of my butters kind of come in big chunks like this. I already chopped up my mango butter for a different recipe I did, but I'm going to chop up the shea and some of the cocoa butter just to make it easier to measure and also so it'll melt a little bit faster. Now obviously it's hard to um, measure this completely so if it's a little bit off that's okay. It does not have to be exact. I love the cocoa butter in here. It smells so good like chocolate. Okay so I'm going to add in my quarter of a cup of beeswax. And then my quarter of a cup of shea butter, quarter of a cup of coconut, or cocoa butter, quarter of a cup of mango butter, and I'm gonna get some coconut oil, quarter of a cup of that. And I'm just going to let all of these ingredients melt here in the double boiler. And then once it's all melted, I'm gonna remove it from the heat and then we'll add in the other things. And then we're actually going to put it into the silicone molds. I have little bar shaped ones that I used when I made my homemade soap here on the YouTube channel. But you could use any mold you want if you wanna make little smaller ones, bars, heart shaped ones, it doesn't matter what shape you use. Okay, so we're gonna let that melt and then we will come right back. Okay, so now that all of my ingredients are melted together, I just removed the bowl from the heat, and now I like to let it sit for about five, 10 minutes just to cool down before adding in the other ingredients just so we don't lose any of those therapeutic benefits with the essential oils. So I allowed this to sit, and now I'm going to add in a couple teaspoons of a carrier oil. Now, for your carrier oil, you can use um, fractionated coconut oil, sweet almond oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, those are some of the common ones. So you're just gonna put a couple teaspoons of that into your mixture. And then I'm adding in a little bit of vitamin E oil because vitamin E oil is really good for dry hair and it really helps to condition. So I'm just gonna do 10 drops of that. And then you have the option of adding in some essential oils. Now I have rosemary and lavender here because those are two of my favorites for the hair. They can really help to promote hair growth, thickening, strengthening, all of that good stuff. And so those are the ones that I'm using in here. Over on my blog I have a post with some other oil combinations you can try. And I share which one is best for like women, men, children, depending on who you're making it for. So I'll link that post down in the description box so then you can go check that out. If if you want some different combinations, but lavender, rosemary are kind of my go-tos for hair. So I'm just doing about 10 drops of each one. I 
And then I'm just going to stir this up to make sure everything is well combined. Now I'm just going to pour it into these molds here that I have. And this recipe will make three conditioner bars with the molds that I have linked down below. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let these sit. I'm gonna let them sit overnight because it's the end of the day and I'm just gonna finish these in the morning, but they usually dry within about two to three hours. So once they're completely dry and hardened, you can just pop them out with the molds and then they are ready to use. So when you go to use your conditioner bar, you're just gonna shampoo your hair like normal and then you're just gonna get the conditioner bar kind of massage it into your hand to get it into your hands, massage it into the hair, and then just rinse it out like normal conditioner. You can also take it and put it straight onto the hair. Either way works, just depends on what your preference is. So these will last up to one year if you have them stored in an airtight container. I like to just put them in a glass container with a lid. If you wanna put them in a Ziploc like bag, that's fine too. And they can just be stored out of direct sunlight and they will keep just fine like that. So. That's it guys, super easy to make. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to check out my description box below. I have several free eBooks and also a free essential oil class if you want some more education. And if this is your first time by my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification because I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and I share lots of different healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our early house.